There was once a velveteen rabbit, and in the beginning he was really splendid. On Christmas morning, when he sat wedged in the top of the boy's stocking, with a sprig of holly between his paws, the effect was charming. Merry Christmas! A bunny! I've always wanted a toy bunny! Mommy, Daddy, it's the best present of all! the rabbit for at least two hours, and in the excitement of looking at all the new presents, the velveteen rabbit was forgotten. Nanny took the rabbit to the nursery, and no one thought much about him. Again. How disappointing. Hello. Who are you? Uh, a rabbit, sir. Are you sure? You don't look like one to me. What kind of toy are you? Where's your stick out key? A stuffed velveteen rabbit. <laughs> hey, boy. Take a look at the new one. after the Queen's Guards. What were you modeled after? I don't know. They call me a rabbit. Well, where's your wind-up gear? I don't have one. How do you move? Oh, must be full of sawdust. <laughs> must be one of the old type of toys. Sawdust is obsolete. Should never be mentioned in public circles. All squares. Oh, well, he won't last forever. Like us. We're sturdy. Can't stand up to anything. I land softly when thrown. He'll learn. Company call Jones. Here. Smith. Smith. Uh, sir, uh, Smith was lost in the sand at the seaside, sir. Oh. Montgomery. Here. By a pack rat when the boy took us out last four maneuvers. Oh, yeah. Clifford! Oh, no. No. Uh, snap clean and pop last time was picked up. Faulty casting. Ray and his family, I heard. Oh, 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 oh. Carry on, man! And he is! Let's get some rest. Tomorrow the boy takes us to play at the seaside. Oh, oh no, 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 no. I'm sick of this No, oh, it's a dangerous place. Get your gears all sandy. Oh, I forgot. You aren't real like the rest of us. Real? You can't move independently. No gears, motivation, no source of movement. You just sit there. Now here comes the mechanical boat. He's been around for two seasons. He knows the seaside, thrives on it. He'll last forever. Here to tidy up. <laughs> What's wrong with me? I don't think they like me. 
I do. Who said that? I did. I'm the old rocking horse. After Nanny has tidied up and the nursery light is snapped off, I'll tell you a special secret. And so, when the nursery light shut off that night, Velveteen Rabbit and the rocking horse talked in low whispers. The rocking horse had lived in the nursery longer than any of the other toys. He was so old that his brown coat was bald in patches, and the seam showed underneath. Nursery magic was very strange and wonderful, and only those playthings that are old and wise, like the rocking horse, understand all about it. Does it mean having things inside you that buzz and a wind-up key? Real isn't how you're made. It's a thing that happens to you. When a child loves and plays with you for a long, long time, you become real. Does it hurt? Sometimes. When you're real, though, you don't mind being hurt. It doesn't often happen to those who break easily or have sharp edges or have to be careful. Yes. Most likely, by the time you are real, most of your hair has been loved off, and your eyes drop out, and you get very shabby. Oh, my. But you see, these things won't matter at all. Once you are real, you can't be ugly, except to those who don't understand. Are you real? The boys called them me be real. That was a great many years ago. Oh, I want to be real more than anything. Once you're real, you can't be unreal again. It lasts forever. Now I know, and that's what I want. Be patient. Be patient. The boy can't sleep without a toy. Where did he put his china dog? I don't have time to look. Ah, ha, here, take your money. He'll do for you to sleep with. That night, and for many nights after, the Velveteen Rabbit slept in the boy's bed. At first, he found it rather uncomfortable, but the boy hugged him very tight, and sometimes he rolled over on him, and sometimes he pushed him so far under the pillow that the rabbit could scarcely breathe. But very soon, he grew to like it. They had splendid games together, and when the boy dropped off to sleep, the rabbit would snuggle down close under the boy's little warm chin and dream with hands clasped round him all night long. I'd better take that toy away. You mustn't say that. He'll hear. He isn't a toy. He's real. I'm real. And so time went on, and the little rabbit was very happy. So happy that he never noticed how his beautiful velveteen fur was getting shabbier and shabbier.